And hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kaz Has. My name is Kaz Von, and today we're going to be looking at Hero Blaster by Studio Pixel. Yesterday I did a video on Pink Hour, which was the prologue to this game. Uh, that is for free. This is 8 bucks, and it's made by the same guys who made Cave Story. And so far from what i played, it's absolutely worth $8. Um, let me just hop in here. And I'm going to start a new game. Just to show off the uh, beginnings and then at the end of the video I'll hop into my later game and show off some of the weapons. This is not my first time. You better apologize. Oh. It has really good music. It has a lot of the same humor that you'd come to expect from Cave Story. So I'm Frog. I think that's Cat, but there's another cat so I don't know who the cat is in this corporation. It's CNF Incorporated, Cat and Frog Incorporated. She just yells all the time. President is angry again! So yeah, basically the story in the beginning anyway. Yeah, the story in the beginning is basically you are a frog and you are working for this company, and as Pinky there explains, I am a uh, custodial scientist. So here's stage one, I'm at the Hinterland Fort. The way this game works is you have this, you know, jump, shoot, and later you gain more abilities, which I will show off later. But for now, I just have this one gun, it's the very beginning, and my job is to kind of just kill everything. I don't have to kill everything, but it's easier to progress, especially when you don't have such a great weapon. So, uh, mechanically, if you hold down the jump button, you kind of float in the air, and you, you have more air time, and you kind of float down gently, but if I let go, kind of just drop and that's really useful for later platforming puzzles because the platforming in this gets crazy difficult not so bad the uh, first four stages are actually pretty simple it gets kind of tough with the bosses but the first four stages are really easy I'm on stage I believe six or seven and that's when it starts getting really doggone hard just to actually maneuver around the environment it's not a detriment to the game, I'm just saying the game gets difficult. <laughs> Which, if you have played Cave Story, you know that it can get pretty tough, and if, you've, if you like that game, you kind of come to expect it, and it delivers, for sure. This also has a whole bunch of different kinds of enemies, with a whole bunch of different kinds of attacks. Um, some of them are bullet hellish, just like Cave Story. Some of them are just super maneuverable, and you have to, like, avoid them. Let's see if I can get this treasure chest here. But yeah, there's quite a variety. These little flower things, if you drop on them, oop, if you land on them, you get hurt, so you gotta kind of take them out before you get anywhere near them. Money! So money is used to upgrade your weapons, and upgrade, so you can see I have two health there. And this is actually a great place because CNF, that is a warp directly to the store. So, uh, at certain points in the game, you can do that, just warp back to the store, and you can buy weapons or health upgrades. I'm gonna get the upgrade for my blaster. I like how they call it the pea shooter, because I believe that's what the first gun is called in Cave Story, if I remember right, but I don't know. I could be wrong about that. So now my gun shoots way further, which is actually very useful. Uh, your weapon upgrades come pretty quickly. And the bosses that they throw at you in the beginning, they kind of represent, like, if you get a new weapon, you need to use that new weapon. It's a little Mega Man-ish in the beginning, but I think it's just to tutorialize what those weapons are really good at. And then later on, like, stage 5 and onward from what I've played, it kind of just leaves it up to you to figure out the best way to tackle a situation. And it's pretty tough. But these beginning levels are pretty simple. There's not really a whole lot going on, comparati like, comparatively. Not really a whole lot of difficult platforming. Oh, come on, get out of there. I don't know, it's like a dragon... dragon snake? I don't even know. 
So let's get back down here. Kill some more of these fire flower guys. Uh, the other weapons you get are... I should be picking up the wave beam soon. But uh, every weapon has a series of upgrades which costs more and more gold. Oh man, I can't believe I got taken out there. But it's okay, the checkpointing is really tight. Um, you have three lives, and as long as you have lives left, you'll checkpoint pretty close to where you were. Like, every screen pretty much is a checkpoint. Oh, I got an extra life too. It's being really nice to me. Normally, I've actually never seen an extra life drop before, and I can't believe I died again. I am doing terribly. It's kind of hard to... Man. It's kind of hard to talk and play. I wonder if it'll give me another extra life because this is the beginning of the game. Alright, you douchebag. What are you gonna do? I'm just run away. Take the secret passage to this treasure chest. Give me a whole bunch of money. Big money. Big fun. Uh, most projectiles you can just shoot out of the air, so as long as you just keep on blasting. Uh, also, if you are shooting and you start moving left and right, you don't actually change direction of your shots mid-shooting. So that's useful if you're shooting up at a boss and you just kind of want to strafe left and right. It's very useful, but if you're not used to it, you can get yourself into a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. <laughs> Here we go. Tumbleweed, no! Kill this thing, even though I don't really have to. Hey, health. Health drops are pretty rare, especially later on. All right. Well, here's the first boss. Let's see if I can do pretty good. It usually takes me like a couple tries because I'm terrible at this game. So excuse me if I don't talk too too much during this. But most bosses are pattern based. There's only one that I came across so far that is just completely chaotic and you, you have to actually be lucky. But even then, if you're skilled enough with movement and just stay mobile, it's actually not too, too hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. Oh, so close. Alright. Well, I have one more life. It doesn't really matter if I die, I'll just go... <laughs> Sorry about that. That's a uh, flash flood warning in my area. So it doesn't matter if I die, I'll just go on to my next save. But a lot of the game, uh, a lot of the bosses are basically getting the pattern down. I'd actually liken it to, well, I'd liken it to Cave Story, obviously. And, uh, it's pretty cliche to liken anything to Dark Souls these days, but still. That game's all about patterns, too, you know? Alright. Next phase. Most bosses have two phases. Uh, mini bosses usually don't, but... I can't speak to the entire game. There we go. And now I got the wave beam. I guess it's technically the fan, but, you know. So this weapon is not affected by water, and it's very, very wide. It's a super wide shot. The first upgrade you get for it, it gets even wider. And here I am at the end of the level. You have to kill the red one, because they're the evil one of those guys. And then you just beam back home. So as you can see, my boss uh, is now drooling has gained about 100 pounds as flies flying all around her. She's still not happy with me. She kind of hates me. It's kind of a hostile work environment, all things considered. I'm kind of sent off to my death. But, uh, I keep on coming back. See, so yeah, I guess my goal for the first five stages is to clean your to clean up the transport devices that allow us to uh, travel to different parts of the world. And here he gives me a health jar. Basically, if I die, it'll refill up to four hearts of health. 
and then I can keep playing without having to waste a life or even go back to a checkpoint. It's pretty cool. I haven't actually bought any from the store thing while playing because I'd rather just get straight up upgrades. So yeah, that was basically the first stage. So let's go to... Man, I just love the music. Let's go to uh, my other save. Now, I haven't beaten this. This is an hour and 45 minutes into the game. If you don't want to be spoiled on anything, I would suggest ending the video right now. And there's a link in the description below if you actually want to purchase the game. So here's all the weapons you get. Um, as you can see, I still have my blaster. I didn't get to upgrade this to level three, but level three is laser. But it's kind of expensive. And I opted to upgrade my wave to a big spread gun, which is actually really useful. And then other weapons you get is the bubble beam. These, uh, basically, yeah, they just uh, bounce around off walls and stuff, so you can shoot down ledges and, like, kind of take out enemies in hard to reach spots that you basically can't reach without clearing out first. So it's kind of a very utilitarian kind of gun. I'm going to die right away, aren't I? The last weapon is, this is the upgraded version of the flame gun. The one before it is nowhere near as flamey. Oh. And yeah, you can go on water. I mean, you are a frog. Uh, you do have to know, see, my flame gun only works outside of water very well. So the bubble beam works good, except it only floats on the top. So when you're underwater, the best bet is still the wave because it's still not affected by water even when it's upgraded. Uh, you cannot shoot straight down, but you can shoot straight up. I think, I believe that was a thing in Cave Story where you can shoot straight down and give yourself kind of a jump boost, but that's not in this game from what I can see. Maybe it's an upgrade, but I haven't seen it yet. Once again, this is as far as I've gotten, and I'm, only, I'm almost two hours in. But yeah, so this is where the story gets really crazy, and if you're expecting from this game a crazy, weird, really bizarre and melancholy kind of story, like Cave Story had. This is, it's totally there. <laughs> it's really, really bizarre. Most of these enemies I have never seen before. This is the first part of this stage, and this is all new to me. So it's, it's a really cool game. If you enjoyed Cave Story, you, you'll definitely like it. But you can see there's a little bit of bullet hell going on. There's a little bit of, there's actually a lot of platforming l later on, like really tough platforming. There's bullet hell going on. There's tough boss battles. There's a variety of enemies. There's a variety of weaponry. Really everything you'd want from a, uh, I guess you'd call it like an action platformer. Basically everything you'd really want is here. So if you're into that kind of game, this is definitely for you. So yeah, the music's really good, the art's really good. Everything you really want from this kind of game is here, and if you're into that kind of game, I would highly recommend it. Uh, there's a link in the description below for you to purchase this if you wish. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it helps me a lot. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.